All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is one of three new golf carts I've picked up here. We're going to be doing some videos with this here. We're not going to be doing the Navita swap and changing from DC to AC. We're going to do a strictly DC build on this right here. So as you see here, it's a little club car DS. Clean little model here. Extended roof, OEM back seat. It's got some matching seat covers on there, just the 10 LOLs, but we're going to be doing some little things a little bit different on that before too long. Okay, LED headlights and taillights. It's got some 12, I think these are 12 inch wheels, low profile tires. The year on this little card here looks to be a 2002 model. And it has a set of Die Hard 2021 batteries. Now what we're gonna be doing today is, it has a DC to DC converter on there. You can see it right there. What I don't like about these DC to DC converters is very simple. Right now with the golf cart off, it's running. The DC to DC converter is running because we can flip the headlight switch on and the headlights work when the golf cart is in the off position. Like so, see here it's off, on. So I don't like that portion about it. Now, this right here switch here used to run a sound bar that was up here on top of the cow trim piece here. I've since removed it. But one thing I don't like about those little converters is even when the golf cart is off or on, the converter is still working, converting 48 volts down to 12 volts. Now, even though the headlights aren't on, it's still converting 48 volts to 12 volts, okay? Now, I'm not saying the amp draw is a whole lot, but it's enough that over time, it will actually kill the batteries or you have to charge the golf cart up again. So, on today's video, if you have one of these small converters, like this right here, we're gonna be able to adjust that with the key switch of the golf cart and what i mean by that is i'm not going to be putting a switch into place here we're going to be able to turn the golf cart and the converter on just by turning the golf cart key switch on or off let's get into the garage and i'll explain more all right guys so what i have here is two different converters this is the basic converter here this is the same one that we have on the golf cart now and this is a very popular converter. I run this in a lot of my golf carts. However, one of these are already installed in this golf cart. And I'm going to just leave it. Here's the differences between these, both of these converters. This one here has a power and ground input and a power and ground output. This one right here shares a ground and has a power input, a power output. It has a key switch input and a memory output. So let me tell you about this one. Yellow wire, 48 volt input, black wire, ground input, black wire, ground output, red wire, 12 volt output. Now that's only three colors. Your green wire that you see right here is gonna go to the key switch. And when you turn the key switch on, the converter will power on. When you turn the key switch off, the converter will power down technically but not 100%. Let me explain why. On here, there's a blue wire that you see right here. So if you have a car stereo hooked into your golf cart, this blue wire here is gonna go to the constant power of your car stereo, and this will help you maintain your clock and your memory functions. Basically what that means is this converter, even though the key switch is off, this converter is still running and it's still producing or still converting 48 volts down to 12 volts, but it's not producing, basically it's cutting this red wire off and on. That's the only thing it's doing. This blue wire right here will stay on even when the converter is off. This blue wire will allow power uh, go into your radio to keep memory functions. Okay, right now we have the DC to DC converter already in the golf cart and it's already powered up right now Even though the golf cart is off while I'm making this video, it's still running It's still converting 48 volts to 12 volts And in the you know, if you look at the big picture, yes, it's using a little bit of amperage It's not much, but it's using enough and if you're you have range anxiety Well, you can eliminate that 
by introducing a relay. Now this is a 48 volt relay coil. It looks just like a 12 volt 30 amp relay. The only difference is this one has a 48 volt coil. So basically I'll, I'll explain the relays in just a minute. Now by introducing the relay onto the golf cart with the factory key switch, once we turn the golf cart to the on position of the key switch, this will now have power. And when we turn the key switch off, this right here will not have power anymore. So if you're worried about the golf cart using amperage or using power or the DC to DC converter running, you can be able to turn that on and off with the key switch. And it's very simple. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that on today's video. All right, so let's talk about a few things right here real quick. You see there's five wires. Now these wires are not gonna be, it's not gonna be hot, negative, it's not gonna be a remote, it's not gonna be anything, that kind of stuff like that, okay? You're gonna have a coil, that's gonna be your number 85 and 86. Typically this is part of the coil and this is part of the coil, okay? So through your coil right here, this is a 48 volt coil. So one side of this will need to go to the negative of the battery. The other side of this will need to get power from the key switch in its own position. Not its off position, but its own position. And by doing so, once this right here has power, on the coil on the inside, it makes continuity between this black wire here and this red wire. So basically, we could take the yellow wire right here of this DC to DC converter, we can hook it up to this red wire like so, then we can run this black wire here to the positive of the battery, okay? So basically, this is like an inline switch. By, by us energizing the coil of the relay, once we do that, the black right here is number 30, this one right here and the red one will have continuity. Now when the key switch is off, the black one and the blue one will have continuity. Does that make sense? I'll explain this again. Yellow here, we're gonna send to power, okay, of the key switch. We only want power on the key switch when the key switch is in the own position. This white one here, we're gonna run it to the ground wire of the battery, okay? So when we turn the key switch on, the relay is gonna click. Okay, that means it's gonna energize the coil. This black wire here does not mean ground. This is going to be pin 30 of the relay. Pin 30 and pin 87A, they have continuity when there's no power across the relay coil. So right now, if we took a voltmeter, these two wires right here would have continuity with nothing hooked up to the golf cart. Let me get my meter just to show you. And the battery is now dead. So we're just gonna move the DC converter out of the way for this demonstration. I'm gonna place a alligator clip against the red lead of my multimeter. We're gonna put the red lead on the black lead right here. Okay, and when we touch the red lead the red lead will not have continuity because there's nothing going through the coil here. So it's touching, you don't hear anything. But if I touch the black lead to the blue lead, you're gonna hear a beep because we have continuity between 30 and 87A. Hear that? So that lets us know that 30, which is our black one right here, and 87A, which is our blue one, it has continuity when there's no power going through the coil. Now, if we apply power going through the coil, which is this yellow wire and this white wire, we will then have continuity going between 30 and 87, which is our red wire here. Let's see if we can get 48 volts set up here enough where we can trigger this right here and show you the continuity test of 30 and 87. All right, I'm gonna flip the switch on and you might hear the relay click. Now, once the relay clicks, remember we had power between the black wire, which is number 30, and the blue wire, which is number 87A. That's gonna change, and you're gonna have continuity between the black wire and the red, number 87. So we're gonna power the battery on. We now have power. We we'll get down here, and we're gonna attach one side to the black and the other side to the blue. This should not have continuity, and it does not. You hear that? There's no continuity coming through the black wire 30 and the blue wire 87A. 
Now if we check continuity between the black wire and the red wire, we will have continuity. See that? I'm gonna go ahead and turn the battery back off. The battery right here represents like the key switch of the golf cart. Now we had power going through the black and the red, not any longer. See there? But now we're gonna have power going back through the blue wire, which is 87A. So basically that is how a relay works. Now, how are we gonna use a relay in this right here project? It's gonna be the same way we just used it here, except we're gonna wire everything up through the key switch. So we're gonna take our white wire and our yellow wire, and we're gonna, one of these is gonna to go to the battery ground of the system. The other one's gonna to go to the key switch side of the system that only has 48 volts when the key is turned on, okay? What that's gonna do is activate the relay. Now, this being a five wire relay, you don't need a five wire relay for this right here demonstration, but this is a 48 volt DC relay and I've ordered some of these right here to go on different projects and different things. So in our uh, video today, we're not gonna use the blue wire and you can actually depin this if you like to make things simpler, okay? What else is gonna happen here is this black wire here, which is pin 30, we're gonna get our input from my battery, 48 volt from this one, and we're gonna send this right here, red wire here, to the input of the DC to DC converter. And what that's gonna do there is once we turn the golf cart switch on, our accessories will then be able to power on, and when we turn the key switch off, our accessories will be able to power off and nothing running in the background. Let's get started. Now, this would be a prime example why you don't want to leave this on at all times. Does it pull much current? No, okay? My voltmeter, I left it on, and you've seen earlier, I had to change the battery out because I left it in the continuity setting of the meter. Now, was it pulling a, a ton of current? It wasn't, but I had to change the battery out. If I would have just turned it off like I was supposed to, then I wouldn't have had to change the battery out right then and there. But since I did, it's been running every single night since the last time I used it and all during the day as well. So prime example, while adding a relay will save battery life on your pack and you won't have to charge it up as much. This right here will also work for the blue converter as well. Since the blue converter still is producing power 12 volt wise, you know, even when the key switch is off, this right here will work for that as well, where it will not produce anything when it's off and it will produce it when it's on, okay? But I'll place links to this right here relay and harness in the description. They both come together. You can actually just pull them apart. This is what the bottom of the relay looks like. This is gonna be your 30, this is gonna be your 85, this is gonna be your 86, the middle one is gonna be your 87A, the top one right here is gonna be your 87. And in this demonstration, we are not gonna be using 87A, so we're not gonna be using the blue wire in today's video. So, like I mentioned, right now, the golf cart is in the off position, right here to the left, now it's in the on position. Now it's in the off position. It being in off position right now, the converter is working and it has headlights. Once we get done with this, we'll be able to turn in the off position. The headlight switch would not work. It will only work when the golf cart is in the on position. So another question I've got in the past is, why can't I just hook it up to the controller side of the solenoid? Well, that's a great question. And here's why I would not recommend doing that. Okay, golf cart's on. The golf cart has not been activated yet because the solenoid has not activated. You will still have to hit the accelerator pedal to activate the solenoid in the golf cart. Okay, it was on and it clicked back off. Listen to it again. It's on, but it's off. So if you're running the 48 volt side of the solenoid, it's only gonna be on for the duration that the a pedal is pressed down. The solenoid in the back is pretty much a safety device so that somebody wouldn't just jump on the golf cart and hit the pedal without the key being in the ignition, sort of like what we're doing here, but with a relay. So in order to get started, I'm gonna do a couple of different things. First, I'm gonna remove the seat from the golf cart. Once we have the seat removed, 
We're going to go ahead and remove the dash bezel so we can access the wiring behind the dash itself. Now, on these club cars here, generally you would have two screws, one here and one here. Uh, when I got this car, golf cart here, it did not have the screws there. So basically you're just going to actually pull it out there and access the back panel back here. In order to test this, we got a digital multimeter here. On the black lead, I have an alligator clip, alligator clip on both sides. I'm taking that to the main negative of the pack. That's going to show us uh, a, a negative signal for when we're testing the key switch here. Now on the key switch, I'm going to turn it off here. So it's an off position. We'll have power on one side of the key switch, but not the other side. So this green wire here, it shows power, okay? The key switch is off, we don't want that. We want the one that does not have any power when it's off. The blue one here does not have any power as you can see there. Once we introduce a power signal from the key switch here, we now see 48 volts on that side of the key switch. So this blue wire here, this side of the key switch here, is the side we're gonna run to the positive of the relay coil. So I'm gonna be using some 14 gauge wire here. I'm gonna put a ring terminal end on this wire and hook it up to the same ring terminal as the output of the key switch. So it looks like somebody already done something very similar to this there as there's a red wire on here now. So we're gonna do away with that red wire. I'm gonna hook both this blue wire here and this red terminal up together with that same screw here back to the terminal. Now on this red wire here that we're added, I've cut out about uh, probably about six or seven feet. So we can run back through the dashboard here underneath the golf cart and back up underside of the batteries. I'll meet you back over there. All right, so I've ran the wire and it's here inside of the battery compartment right here. This is gonna be our relay coil positive, and we're gonna get our relay coil negative right here at the battery. And just to show you that it works, I'm gonna strip this right here back real quick. The golf cart is right now in the off position. I'm not having any voltage on it at all. As soon as we turn it on on the key switch, we jumped up to 50 volts. Turn the key switch off, jumping back down to no voltage at all. All right, so I know what you're probably thinking. Why do I need a relay for if you showed me how to get 48 volts directly from the key switch? Well, here's the deal with the relay. The relay is here to take a low voltage input like a key switch right here and give it an, a higher amperage output. And what I mean by that is the key switch is not heavy duty key switch and it's not really sending a bunch of amperage through it is sending a signal. So we're using a 48 volt signal from the key switch to activate the relay. The relay is then getting a heavier amperage load from the battery and is sending that through the relay itself to the DC to DC converter, if that kind of makes sense. So the relay is there to help protect us kind of. Uh, it's kind of like the main solenoid on um, before the controller. If you notice the main Solenoid is actually turned on and off by the really tiny wires, but the controller uses the heavy duty wires running through the solenoid in order to operate the golf cart and make it move forward and backwards. Very similar situation. Actually, it's the same thing, except you're using a relay instead of a solenoid. So I went ahead and I removed the blue wire from the center of the relay harness. See, here's the blue wire here. I just pulled on it and it came out, okay? We don't need 87A for what we're doing today, so I don't wanna confuse any of y'all for this right here. Do you have to do this? No, you don't have to do this. I did this to try to make things a little bit easier on the video. With that being said, what I'm gonna do is we're going to actually snatch off this red wire here of the DC converter, and we're gonna put one side of it that's going to the battery on this side here, and the side that's going to the converter, we're gonna put it on this side here. Then I'm gonna take the red wire that we wired into the key switch, run it to this yellow wire here, run this white wire here 
to the ground of the battery. All right, so this red wire here is going to my converter. And right now it's connected through there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. I'm gonna cut it right here. This is cutting that right here old buck connector off. I'm gonna strip back one side here. This right here side is going to the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp that on. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp that on to the black wire of the relay. Now the red wire here, we're gonna use a red butt connector. Since this wire gauge here is a little bit smaller, Crimp it onto here. And we're gonna crimp this other side to the DC converter side input. Let me go ahead and crimp that one as well. The converter portion of the relay is already installed. Next thing we need to do is hook up the power and ground. Power going from the key switch or the coil side of the relay. It doesn't matter if you wanna use 85 or 86, that does not matter at all. Let's take yellow here and run red that we ran this wire here, we're gonna hook it up to there. I'm gonna just use a red buck connector for that as well. Remember this red wire here isn't supplying a load, it's supplying a signal. That's the only thing it's doing. Go ahead and hook the yellow wire up. Then we'll only have one more wire to install and that will be our ground wire for the relay. Okay, so right now we got one more to install. That's gonna be this white one right here. I'm gonna get a ring terminal and pop it right here on the main negative of the battery pack. All right, so watch the helmet up there. Right now the golf cart is in the off position. See here, it's off. Turn the light switch on, no lights because the golf cart is off. Turn the golf cart on. We know the golf cart's on because we can hit the forward acceleration here and it'll move. We hit reverse and it'll move. Okay, we can also turn the power to the lights on and the lights are on. Turn the power off, turn the golf cart off here, put it in forward, the golf cart will not move. If you leave your headlights on and you forget to turn them off, they're just going to cut off with the golf cart. Watch this. Turn the golf cart off, headlights cut off. Turn the golf cart on, the headlights cut on. The relay has a hole here to mount it. You can use a hole. You can mount it somewhere with a bolt. What we're gonna do here is I'm on the side of the battery here. I'm gonna run a wire tie. There it is, it's mounted. It's out the way, it's neat. Uh, at the same time, it's still a golf cart. It's a very simple modification. You can extend all of these wires, mount it wherever you want to. I didn't extend anything and mounted everything just nice and neat right there. I'll place a link to this in the description below. All right, guys, what do you think? Pretty, pretty simple install. If you have one of these cheap converters here, and when I say cheap, I mean price-wise, yes, you can run it through your key switch with just a 48-volt relay or a 36-volt relay, depending on the voltage of your golf cart, pretty much, I would say that. So very simple process, easy to accomplish. Now when the golf cart is in the off position, I don't have to worry about that converter sitting back and just draining the batteries because it's actually converting 48 to 12 volts even if the lights aren't working. So it is, it is working. So uh, right now it only works when the key switch is in the on position. Also, you don't have to do a relay. You could still get a, a switch down there and turn it on and off, but I think it would be kind of cool. I, I, I like things to work when it's not supposed to work. And what I mean by that is I don't have to turn this key switch on, didn't have to hit a switch, didn't have to hit the headlight switch. That's, that's too much just to turn the headlights on where I can just turn the key on and this right here turns on and then I can turn on the key or I mean I can turn on the lights or the radio or whatever okay so that's one of the eliminating processes of powering one of these devices here without an external switch basically we did use an external switch but we used a relay so if this video helped you share it with a friend drop a like subscribe to the channel comment um and uh like i said easy install here if you have one of these i'll link this in the description below along with the relays until next time guys we'll see y'all later